Welcome back to day two. I hope that uh, you had a good time last night. I know that some of my employees did. <laughs> I'm curious, how many of you are managing a team of five or greater? How many of you are parents? They're relatively the same. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you wake up in the morning as the CEO of a company, and you get on Instagram to see what your employees have been doing the <laughs> night before, and all you see is sixth and rainy, and people on scooters. It's crazy. This morning was wild. I learned all kinds of new stuff. <laughs> so while they were out doing that stuff, I took a picture last night. I thought it was incredible. Last night was beautiful. Hope you got to see some of that. Austin fireworks. So we have a pretty packed agenda. And I really hope that yesterday the tracks were exactly what they're intended to be, a great venue for you as practitioners to talk to one another about what is and what can be improved. And you know, just a quick comment on the two keynotes that we had. I love the fact that we had an analyst and a practitioner bookend one another, and Claude's presentation coming right after Diego's, I just thought was really great. And you know, there was no practice. You know, they, they just came and did their thing but it really resonated for me. So in terms of today's agenda, we're gonna go through some awards here in a minute. Then we're gonna have a, a keynote um, from Christine, and then you guys are gonna go back into your tracks. One of the things that's important to please remember, and after a hard night last night and the, and the day that you're gonna go through, try and remember, is that we have two important keynotes at the end of the day um, from my team. And I really hope that you will come and attend those because it's going to lay out the journey that we're on for 2019 and some that will, you know, go into 2020. Um, and as many of you know who use our service, we had some challenges at the end of last year and the beginning of this year with performance and availability. And we were in the middle of rolling out Kubernetes and we also had a very dramatic spike in usage. And so our VP of engineering, and Brad Adelberg and, and I, spent quite a bit of time talking to some of our larger customers. And one of the comments that resonated was, A, it's great to have the visibility and the awareness that you guys have, and we appreciate you sharing what, what the actual issues were, and more importantly, what you're doing about it. And Brad's insight led to several uh, of our customers saying during those conversations, it would be awesome for you to describe the journey that you're on because we're all on one that is similar. And that is moving to containers and, and you know, increasing the velocity that we're doing things. So that is gonna be one of the presentations this afternoon that I think will be very valuable to all of you. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is ask Tucker Calloway, who's our Chief Revenue Officer, to join me on the stage. Let's have a round of applause for Tucker. He's... Not, am I on? I was not on Instagram last night, for the record. But As maybe, you know, but maybe we'll be tonight. very shy, <laughs> being a Chief Revenue Officer. <laughs> and what we're going to do is be announcing something that is brand new for us. We have empathy for practitioners of testing, obviously, because we understand the challenges that you all face. Claude's presentation was really insightful in that way yesterday because what he was talking about were the cultural barriers that needed to be worked through with the team at Walmart to get the sponsorship that he needed then they had to work through all of the technical challenges that they had. 
And then they had to work through them again when they realized that things were uh, not moving at the pace that they wanted. So as a practitioner, we understand that you guys are constantly dealing with the pressures that you face within your organizations, both organizationally, culturally, and technically. So what we wanted to do was reward great, outstanding um, practice in the testing community. And so you guys got to vote on who you wanted to see nominated. You got to nominate, and then we got to vote on who won. Glad I didn't drink last night. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to introduce the first category. And it is most dramatic transformation through testing. And the first category recognizes the way products are engaged, uh, the way testing engages with their customers and do uh, business process through implementation of testing. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and so the nominees were Charles Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, Fannie Mae, and PayPal. Do you hear that music? Is that awesome? <laughs> the swelling? <laughs> Anticipation is incredible. Uh, and so I am, uh, I am pleased to announce that the winner is the Charles Schwab Intelligent Portfolio Team. <clears throat> so, uh, so Bala and Mike, if you're here, if you guys want to come up, but uh, uh, Schwab uh, Intelligent Portfolios first engaged with us in uh, 2017, and they set out to, to shift left, engage developers, and drive massive cost reduction. And so we're happy to report that just a year later, They've saved $10 million, reduced builds from days to minutes, and they're actually presenting next week to their CIO to drive the change throughout 12 Swab. So congratulations, guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. You guys hold that. We're gonna get a picture. How smooth is this? <laughs> Okay, Thanks, so could you mind clicking the next thing for me? I'm the click monkey. I don't get to ask him to do things very often. Uh, so, okay, so I also, you know, this is our first uh, saucies, and this is also the first time that we're doing this, looking at this yeah. ourselves. So there's a lot of firsts happening here. <laughs> so uh, our next award is a commitment to cultural quality, um, uh, cultural commitment to quality, sorry. And one of the things that I think we all know and could appreciate is that when you have a top-down quality initiative that your, your job as practitioners is much easier. We also know that that typically starts from a spark that comes somewhere within the organization. It's something that drives it forward, someone that proves that first, uh, that first value of automation, which is very important, and that ultimately grows into something much bigger and something much more systemic in the organization. So this award goes to the recognize the organization that best demonstrated the complete cultural commitment to quality commitment to cultural, whatever. <laughs> You'd never know this was our first time. Yeah. <laughs> and the finalists are Backstop Solutions Group, Johnson & Johnson, and Walmart Labs. And the winner is Walmart Labs. <laughs> Claude Pranav. Pranav. There they come. So as we learned yesterday, the journey that Walmart went on, as I just described a minute ago, was arduous. Claude, Pranav, thank you. And uh, you know, I would be doing it a disservice to try and recreate the presentation that uh, Claude took us through yesterday, but it was a heck of a journey, and congratulations. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. That was much smoother because I said basically nothing. <laughs> okay, most innovative use of testing and automation. Obviously, testing and automation go hand in hand, especially when it comes to what we do at Sauce Labs. Done well, it advances and accelerates the customer's journey. Uh, the developers spend less time fixing bugs and more time working on actual 
code. Uh, okay. The finalists for most innovative use of testing and automation are Expe Express, Scripps, Salesforce, and Tel2. And the winner is Tel2. Is there anyone here from Tel2? We weren't sure. There was a rumor that maybe there was. So what, uh, I'll just give you a quick overview of what um, Tel2 did and we'll make sure that they get uh, their award shipped to them. They're a, they're a Swedish-based uh, telecommunications company. And what they did was they, um, they implemented um, a GitHub bot that pushes the automation build uh, to Sauce Labs Real Device Cloud for testing. It stores that report and then updates GitHub with the status of the, of the chosen platform. So what that does is it doesn't require them to run all the tests all the time, but allows them to just test for what is actually being changed. And so uh, we thought that was a great way to limit execution time and provide the development teams fast feedback in their CI CD pipeline. Very good. Uh, all right. Uh, the awards okay, are so no one's here from Tel2, though. I, I heard maybe a Chris. No? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The awards are actually so heavy and so valuable that shipping it to Sweden is scary. But I'm going to take this home for a little bit, tell my go. kids I'm special. OK, uh, the next award is for the best use of visibility and analytics. So one of the things that's, that I think we've all experienced, too, is we have this ability to create, to jointly create a tremendous amount of data. And what you do with that data and how that data gets consumed is one of the most important things about driving automated testing. So we've created this category to recognize a leader in that space. And the finalists are Charter Communications and GameSys. And Thomas, who I just met, you're representing GameSys, if you can come on up. So the... The application that they used was our Real Device Cloud APIs to generate a tremendous, to use a tremendous amount of data that drove a desk, uh, that drove a, uh, application that they developed in-house so that they could track um, all kinds of necessary data. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Lots of data. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. And best new customer implementation of Sauce Labs. So every year, every quarter, we have new customers come in and their ability to get up and use our product efficiently within their organization is uh, part their responsibility and part ours. And we have a group of, we have a team that helps our customers do that. And um, it's really an important uh, role that we have that we share with our customers. But the ones that are best organized are the ones that do this very well. And so we had uh, several finalists, Deckers, Brand, Redfin, Securian Financial, and Tax Act. And the winner is Deckers Brands. So uh, Joseph, Parth, and William, if you could come up, if you're here. Congratulations. So for those of you who don't know, Deckers is a uh, is uh, the parent company for Uggs and Tiva and Hookah and uh, Sanuk and a lot of incredible footwear. So uh, they signed on with us about a year ago in March. At the time, they were testing only Google. Uh, let me, I gotta read this while I go. <laughs> they were testing only Google Chrome browser for their four U.S. Right. brand sites. Now, fast forward, they've uh, they've taken the, through implementing parallel test execution. They've uh, taken their, their uh, build times down from uh, hours to minutes to 15 minutes or less. They've also used their extra time and extra capacity to roll this out to Europe, to another additional 12 sites in Europe. And so we're really proud of all the work that you guys did over the last year, and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, kind of forgot the important part. <laughs> Tucker was not gonna give you your award. Can you get on in here? So finally, let's uh, give a round of applause for all of our finalists and all of the participants. <laughs>